Hello loyalies, welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast. Uh, I've been to the nether and I've gotten blaze rods. The only problem is that whilst I was recording my getting those blaze rods, my computer crashed, uh, crashed and completely eradicated all evidence that I had actually started recording it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, automated sorting system is even more automated now as there's actually two sorting machines under there, which is awesome. And I am now ready to make my ender chests, which is about freaking time. Over here, we've got this from Thorncraft. In fact, two things from Thorncraft here. Um, yeah, let me turn these off. Do, do, do. Right, this is a hungry chest. What a hungry chest does is this. Nom. It's quiet to get, isn't it? Yes. I occasionally turn my sound off for life. I'm watching a video or something whilst I'm doing stuff. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, that's the hungry chest. He catches anything that lands on his head, which is convenient because the infernal furnace here spits stuff out there straight onto his head, and he is set up to this. He's connected to this here uh, pulverizer, which goes up through the pipes and spits it into the top, and then he spits it out there. You get byproducts with him as well, so you like get the occasional nuggets and stuff like that from using the infernal furnace. It does, however, let stuff uh, flux out, although it's very, very little amounts because I've also got arcane bellows on him. Yeah, I've spent most of the last two days researching and mining. That's it. Over here we have a soul forge, currently forging soul fragments using corrupted dust and diamond. Corrupted dust is just uh, glowstone and vile dust and vile dust is just smelted soul, soul sand so that was easy enough um item frames is currently selected because i've built a clock and i've decided to mount it on my wall because of why not oh and yeah i found out what my, the enchantments do that i got on my diamond sword uh vorpal increases the chance of enemies to drop their heads now this will be greatly advantageous to us when i when killing nether uh, wither skeletons to get their heads to make the to some of the wither boss which is still looking to be a while off I've upgraded my doors because of reasons of why not uh, what else what else oh I finally got the portable hall again I like the portable hall it's one of my favorite things from Thorncraft and I got the candles obviously I have got all the golems as well I just haven't made any uh, anyway, so plan is soul forge to make soul shard, then get as many skeleton souls in it as I possibly can, and use the skeleton souls to create a skeleton spawner, but one in the nether, because I've w been watching some videos and the chappy made his one in the nether, and sort of half the skeletons it was spawning were wither skeletons. I thought that was fantastic, so that's the plan. But for now, Whilst that's all uh, doing its thing, I'm going to make my ender chests, which is just that, that, uh, wool, and there's something missing. I thought I'd gotten all the stuff together. That's the end of portal. Oops. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Chest. Duh. Well, since I'm going to be using this one anyway, <laughs> might as well just get rid of this instead. Uh, uh, my axe. Yeah, the previous video I made, I'm not entirely sure of people's sort of responses to because I didn't get many comments or anything like that and it took forever to make and render out and it was only a 10 minute video so it seemed like a complete waste of time to me doing all that effort. There we go, we have our ender chest. I uh, can dump that down, hopefully sh that should just, whoa, oh, I'm two blocks down that's why, so if we just stick there, voila. 
And I now need to make another chest, which is easy enough. Just give me a word out of here. And open up my portable crafting table caused by the minion stone. Thank you kindly. Like so, we have a chest. And then we go dump that in here. One end of chest, voila. And this one, I want to put up just here. So we can dump everything. In fact, no, better yet. Hmm. No, I will leave it up here. And just dump everything in there and it automatically gets sorted. Fantastic. Wood, city and sea. Puff, puff, gone. Glowstone, gone. Sticks, gone. And all that is getting sorted down here. Fantastic. Uh, I do, however, still now need to fill in that hole. So I've not got any mossy stone bricks left. There's mossy cobble. To be fair, I don't even know how I made the mossy stone bricks. Oh, there I do, 28. But um, I think most of them came about from doing this. Boop. And ta-da! <laughs> this can also be used, the minium stone, as it turns out, to make uh, ender pearls. It costs iron, and don't, there we go. See, four iron uh, make an ender pearl, which is not particularly overpowered. I mean, I do have a fair amount of iron. But is that? Oh, I did wonder. So that'd be a good way to get Ender Pearls for perhaps later on when I want to f try and find the Ender Fortress. Which, despite my exploits into the Ender Realm in my last l series, I will be attempting to do again at some point because I'm stupid. Yay! Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the so yeah, that's the thing. Well, hey, we have soul shards. Also, I made a Thormian sword, and look at that. That's 30 levels on it, and I got sharpness 4, Vorpal 3, not back 2. Not bad at all. Right, now the way soul shards work... Uh... Correct. I'm actually going to use it first to get a zombie one. I'm going to I plan on getting a zombie one, a skeleton one, and an enderman one, and a blaze one. So that's why there's some more making now. And to do that, you have one in your inventory, like so, when you kill stuff. So, if I kill a zombie now, I should get his soul. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me. There is something else that I found that I uh, I have discovered through Thorncraft. I'll just skip straight down here and show you it. Right. In this chest here, I'm keeping my Wand of Fire. Now, it doesn't do a whole, whole heck of a lot of damage, but it does. it is able to damage lots of enemies at the same time. Which is very, very cool. So check this out. Right. Uh, you guys are going to spawn now. And then I'm going to go put on normal. And then I'm going to go down there and I'm going to show all my loyalties how awesome you are. So uh be right back guys. And I'm back. Okay, I was only out there for literally a couple of minutes. I didn't want too many to spawn because well, you know, I like enough as it is. Now I can just bap them with my sword. Like so. Bappy bappy bappy. Well, that was only three, really. And now I have Zombie shard, the soul shard of zombies. See, I have to kill about 200 to get that to level five, but level five it would be awesome. Uh, I don't know if uh, I can kill them with the fire rod thing though. It'd be nice if I can, because then when there's an absolute shit ton of them, I can kill them all at once. So, yeah, be right back. Oh, this isn't good. They appear to have escaped. How have you guys got out? 
Apparently I didn't make a particularly good mob spawner. Yeah. Oh wow, look at them all. It's only been about 10 minutes. Alright, let's try this then. Oh, lagging. <laughs> awesome. See if I got the sh souls for that. 77 kill. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> nice. Oh, levels are still going up as well. <laughs> We've got Toto and another zombie head. Golden leggings. Nice! Alright, you can go back in there. And uh, I'll be back when I've got back in my base. Okay, and we're back. So, first of all, let's add our zombie head to the wall. Because, uh, why not? Stick in my rotten flesh in here. Potatoes, random golden leggings, random iron shovel, more rotten flesh. <laughs> Anything in either of these? Oh, there is indeed. What have we got in these? Five iron ingots, because of course um, mobs drop iron ingots now, don't they? Where did that go? I've lost my backpack. Oh, there it is now. Huh, that was weird. And some r random bits of cobblestone. There we go. Right, so that's working fantastic. Uh, I want to get lots of lot. I'll be getting lots and lots of kills on my zombies. The reason I want to make a zombie spawner, despite the fact I have. It's obviously quite effective, the one I've got at the moment, is because I'll be able to sit at the bottom and just keep killing them whilst they drop. I don't have to stand at the zombie spawn a bit anymore. Got some more soul shards. Fantastic. Everything is going well. <laughs> um, I think these textures are making me lag because of the constant movement on them. Which isn't so good, but uh, can't be helped for now. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so plan is to uh, get that all beefed up and then I can build my own zombie spawner. Um, I'm going to make some ender pearls and find the end, the, uh, the, 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 what do you call it, fortress thingy. Stronghold, that's it. I'll uh, find the stronghold and I'm going to uh, get to the end. Obviously, you guys will be with me for that, so I'll save that for the next episode. I really want to get into the beekeeping as well, so I haven't worked out to do that yet. And I need to build... There's another sword I need to make. Let's have a look. There we go. Vile sword. It requires two corrupted ingots and a stick, which is our corrupted fragments. There we go. So if we use, in the soul forge, iron ingots with corrupted essence to make those. I can do that. So iron ingots. The reason I want to make this sword is there is an enchantment that you can get only on that sword on no other sword and it increases the amount of souls you get when uh, you do a kill so um, I'll be able to fill these up a lot faster that way so I want to make a blaze one because blaze rods make for good fuel uh, I want to do an end enderman one because that way I'll be able to get ender pills a lot easier and a skeleton one so that I can get my wither skeleton heads um, 
Yeah, so that's that's the thing. Like I said, the beekeeping, I really want to get into that, but I haven't actually looked into that yet and done any research on it. Mistcraft, however, or, yeah, it's called Mistcraft, isn't it? Whatever. I have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, let's give this a shot, shall we? I need a feather. I know I've got some feathers somewhere. It must be in the mob drops. There we go. Wow, 64 and another stack of 18 there. Okay, this is going to work out all right. Uh, so, book and feather is a descriptive book. This one's age five. That might be a good thing. And we need a linking book so we can get home again. Okay then, let's try our age five. Boop, this doesn't look too shabby. We've got as a silverwood tree right there. I'm lagging a bit as the world continues to generate. There's a lot of explosions going on as well. I'm not liking the sounds of those. Slowness and mining fatigue, so this is a corrupt world. Hmm. Let's just mine this silverwood tree and see if we can get some uh, saplings off it. Of course, that early tree capitator doesn't work with the with that axe, does it? Do I have another axe on me? No, I do not. I do however have a sickle. We like sickles. I have made the goggles of revealing as well, although I'm not currently wearing them. Well, sorry, I haven't made any, I've discovered them. I've done a lot of discoveries. I've basically discovered everything that's already listed, plus a few of the hidden extras. Not many of them, mind, because I know there's a lot more. What are all those explosions? The reason the sickle is a good thing is for this. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm not liking the sounds of all those explosions. Well, I didn't drop anything, did it? Let's get some. Let's we'll get these. Oop. Right, so there's a zombie over there. What else we got? It appears to be a flat land, which is okay, I suppose. Random cobblestone. Alright, I think we'll... There's more random stuff that... Mm. I think I'm going to head back to the overworld and we shall have a look at my book and see what uh, see what we got from this world. Wow, look at them all. Creepers. Let's see if we can get a, a skeleton to start off that shard with. No, you're a creeper. Oh. oh, this is precarious. What on earth happened here? Oh, I don't want another zombie one. Go away. Yes, come here, you. You want dead ink? Yes. It doesn't matter if I kill him now because I've only got the one in my inventory. There. Nice. So there's our, zomb our skeleton one started as well now. Let's uh, put my zombie shard in there as well. 
I've got an arrow right on the top of my head. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like this world. I'm di I'm slow and weak and pathetic. Oh crap. <laughs> Run away! So are these divots randomly appearing? I mean, that's I suppose is what those explosions are. Well, that that one sounded close. Let's uh, let's leave those explosions well enough alone. And voila! So age five, large biomes, mountain desert biomes, woodland biomes, tiger biomes, villages, ravines, bright, flat, eternal rain, normal time. That would have been eternal rain, except for the whole fact that I removed the eternal. I removed rain. I've turned rain off because rain makes me lag more, and I don't need to lag more. Um, oh, I need to make a notebook, don't I? How do we make a notebook? Oh, it's just lots of paper. I, can, I think I can do that. Let's make us a notebook. Then. Whoa, lag. That was weird. So just paper, 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 paper. What have I got paper under? Or, well, not so much paper, I've got reeds. They're all very well than gem. What drops, balls, are they miscellaneous? Hmm. Oh, seeds. Yes, because it's a growy thing. Uh, that's not actually my seeds chest, it's my growy things chest. <laughs> so let's make paper like so. Three, six, nine. Boop, 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 boop. Damn it! Damn it! There we go. Notebook. Scars and head to the walls. Shame it's not a wither one, but whatever. Now that goes in that slot. There we go. And that adds all the stuff from age five, which we will call flat, noisy poison. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Uh, Flat boom boom. <laughs> but there you know we can start see we can start writing our own books and we can add all the things from that age. How cool's that? Uh, we'll put that book in there. Anyway, I think now's a good wrapping up point for this episode. I will explore a few more ages and get some more stuff to fill in our own books with. And uh, I think I'll work on filling up my zombie shard as well off camera. So thank you guys for watching and everything and bye!